First album I ever bought? Oof. This is bad because it's Rolling Stone too, so it's like a, the, I honestly don't know. Most embarrassing album? All of them. <laughs> uh, I don't know, well, maybe I'll skip that one. It was either Predator or Total Recall, and I was very young. I remember there's a scene where like Arnold Schwarzenegger is breaking, he's like fighting a bunch of guys at the bottom of the elevator and he breaks some guy's neck. I remember feeling nauseous, but also very excited. <laughs> oh, I also remember from Predator when he like launches, he walks in and the, this is a long answer. When he walks into like the opening montage and he throws the knife back and like runs it into the, sticks the guy and says, stick around. It's great. Stick around. That was a good moment in my life. My dad made me go around the neighborhood and uh, mow people's lawns, so I'd have to knock on people's doors and ask if I could uh, mow their lawns. I didn't like the talking uh, to strangers part, not because they're strangers and I was scared, but I just didn't like the awkward interaction when they said no. So I would mostly just walk around my neighborhood with a lawnmower. <laughs> I think I had like two clients. One of them was our next door neighbor, uh, which I didn't even ask him. My, my dad just made, uh, like had a conversation and you know, recruited me. So that, I think that would, would technically be my first job. It was with my family, actually. My dad, my sister, and myself were, they, they did a skit for the, um, for the uh, play, I don't know what it was about, for, for church, and the, I, I'm remembering this as we're talking about it, actually. And um, they were arguing about someone that they didn't want to see at church, and they called him a turkey, you know, because it's church. And then that guy knocks on the door and comes to their house. I don't know what the morale, the lesson was. And then my line was to stop playing with my toys and say, Mom, Dad, it's the turkey. I, I got a big laugh, and that felt really good. The first Broadway play I ever saw was Streetcar Named Desire with Natasha Richardson and John C. Riley. I think the first time I saw a play, uh, this is getting foggy, there's this theater called the Red Barn Theater, and it was a production of Annie Get Your Gun. I think that was the first play that my parents took me to see. Well, technically, when I was at school at, at Juilliard, I auditioned for a play called Cypher, I think. That was the first uh, like professional job I got. I think I made $200. I th think I bought a pair of Air Jordans with it, or maybe that was a later... Uh, it was either that or a Law & Order would have been my first like pr uh, TV job where I, one of them I bought a pair of Air Jordans that I had, I still have, so this is like 10 years ago and I never wore them because I didn't want to mess them up. And then I pulled them out recently because I feel like I should wear them and they had like, you know, start growing bacteria because they, um, I never wore them. <laughs> I, originally tried to be an actor like right when I graduated school so I load up my my car and I drove to California and then my car broke down in Amarillo Texas and I spent all my money fixing it I was in like California for 48 hours and had no money and had to drive all the way back which was embarrassing because I made a big production about saying goodbye to everybody in, in Indiana I'm like goodbye uh, girlfriend uh, you know who knows when we'll see each other again um, and then I was back like a week later like the week before then my dad had given me this brochure for joining the Marine Corps, there's like no fucking way I was gonna do that. And then 9-11 had happened and then all my friends from uh, high school who I was still in contact with and all decided that we were all gonna join the military. And, and then I was like gone like a month later. The recruiter was like, are you on the run from the cops? Because uh, no one tries to get out this fast. Like usually you like give time to think about it, but I kind of made up my mind that I was gonna do it. So it was a collection of things. I wanted to do something and also I had no prospects for uh, realistic employment.